so uh, parenting is a responsible vocation i am distinguishing it from a job it's not a job which has to be finished it's a vocation it's something that we uh, becomes a part of our life the moment we conceive a child okay it begins at the time of conception and never ends parenting is finding happiness in love and sacrifice a lot of parents think ki humne tumhare liye ye kiya humne tumhare liye wo kiya no sorry uh, uh, when you decided to have a child or when a child came to your life it was your opportunity to express your love and sacrifice for that child and uh, i think parents should do it with a sort of a seva bhav then we also believe that matri devo bhava and pitri devo bhava after the almighty the mother and the father are the child's uh god uh they are the divine uh, presence in the child's uh, uh life and so they are very important for the child happy parents raise happy children these are just a few things that i'm telling you to express the importance of parenting so it's important to remain happy because there are sad times and when it is sad then we have to share the uh, to the children that okay life is full of good times and bad times uh, easy times and difficult times and so we have to take both in our stride and on the whole try to be happy and contented and then there are no bad children just bad parents i would say who may be misguided so how we are going to educate ourselves as parents and how are we going to raise our children to be wonderful happy children is in the next few pages okay no child is bad no child should be rejected no child deserves to be uh, not given due importance so every child is important for us so please try to understand this that there are no bad children just because the parents are you know uh, handling them in a different manner which is may, which may not be the correct manner and the parents have been misguided by various things so the children tend to behave in a bad manner okay ruchi second slide please yeah so i made a womb here if you can see the baby in the womb the health of the parents is important so you see uh we have to understand we can only gift something to somebody else if we have it so first thing is to promote our own health physically mentally spiritually and socio emotionally and also parents must understand the concept of grihastha ashram which is an indigenous view when i say indigenous view it is a view of our indian uh, heritage that to work and to take on the responsibility of raising and maintaining a family within the social concept context is what is the grihastha ashram so when you enter the grihastha ashram you should be prepared for it you should be prepared for what goes along with it next slide please now this is something that i really love you know uh, this is a uh, i don't know how many of you have read a book called the prophet by khalil gibran who is a great philosopher he writes about different things in that book and uh, this is the particular thing that he writes in uh, about children so i will read it your children are not your children this is you know where he is warning us of becoming over possessive and treating somebody who is in our life the child who is in our life as you know something who belongs to us no the child doesn't belong to us your children are not your children they are the sons and daughters of life's longing for itself see life has a system of rejuvenation and it's through our children that the re rejuvenation comes they come through you 
but not from you. This is a very important sentence which says they come through you. Their physical bodies may come from you, but life in them comes through the Almighty, through the divine, the spirit which comes into them. And though they are with you, yet they belong not to you. You may give them your love, but not your thoughts. So our job is to love them, love them unconditionally, but not try to thrust our thoughts on them. For they have their own thoughts. You may house their bodies, but not their souls. Uh, Mr. Muhammad Arif says there's no sound in the chat box. So please look into it, Ajay. Uh, yes, uh, it must be the microphone because all of us can hear you clearly. All okay. of us can hear you. So if some teacher can, uh, uh, you know, uh, contact him and inform him, please. All right. So you may house their bodies, but not their souls. For their souls dwell in the house of tomorrow. You know, tomorrow when we are not going to be there, then also their souls will be there, which you cannot visit, not even in your dreams. Okay? That tomorrow we can't even visit in our dreams. We can only imagine perhaps. Next slide, please. You may strive, you may strive to be like them. The previous slide, uh, Ruchi. The previous slide, yeah, that's it. You may strive to be like them, but seek not to make them like you. Many times, you know, we as parents think that, oh, hum ye nahi kar pai, hamara bachcha ye karega. No, because uh, our child is born with his own destiny, with his own uh, potential, with his own uh, agenda, you know, and so you may strive to be like them, but seek not to make them like you. For life goes not backward, not, nor tarries with yesterday. You are the bows. Now, this is very important. Please understand this carefully. You are the bows from which your children as living arrows are sent forth. We are the bows. Uh, the archer, who is the archer? God is the archer. The archer sees the mark upon the path of the infinite. The archer sees the mark upon the path of the infinite and he bends you with his might. He bends the parents. Whatever struggles and difficulties he gives to us are for bending us so that his arrows, which are our children, may go swift and far. Let your bending in the archer's hand be for gladness. For even as he loves the arrow that flies, so he loves also the bow that is stable. The bow is us, the arrow is the child, and the archer is the Almighty. So this is a beautiful, I always, whenever I read it, I find it most apt to understand what it means to be a parent. Next slide, please, Ruchi. I hope you enjoyed uh, listening to Khalil Gibran's uh, poetry also. Uh, well, so now we come to parental instinct. Now, you know, uh, every parent has an instinct. Instinct means that we know from the inside what to do for our children. We don't have to go to Google and WhatsApp University to learn what to do from our, for our children. Our instinct, our uh, uh, sort of intuition, it, it will tell us what to do, what is best for the child and what to do at that point of time. And the main instincts are to love, to protect and secure, to comfort and support, to enrich, guide and inspire. These are some of the main things. Apart from this, a parent has to do so many things, you know, uh, and everything that is necessary has to be done by the parent to ensure that the child grows up well and the child is given all that 
the child deserves. Now there are areas of focus. So there are areas of focus which we have to really constantly keep in our mind. The first one is of course physical. Because a healthy mind resides in a healthy body. So health, nutrition and fitness. Uh, if the parents are drinking Coke, if the parents are uh, uh, eating pizzas, if the parents are, uh, in fact, the mothers, they should be specially particular that when the child is in their womb, they do not, you know, on a regular basis, eat and drink all these kinds of things. Uh, so health, nutrition and fitness, it begins from the very day of conception. I will tell you a small story here. When I had my first, uh, I mean, I conceived my first uh, child, who's a boy and the elder one, uh, a senior, you know, uh, one of my very senior persons in the family who later was the union law minister of India also, he guided me to read Hitobdesh. He said, mothers ko, ye do kitabe zaroor padhni chahiye. So he told me Hitobdesh and the second book he said Panch Tantra. So I got the Hitobdesh that he told me and I read it through my uh, pregnancy period in the case of my first child. Okay. And in the case of my second child who's a girl and uh, again a lovely beautiful person uh, well accomplished for her own self uh, I read Panch Tantra. And, you know, the information that is given in Hitobdesh is of a different type. And the information which is given in Panch Tantra is of, is of a different type. And let me tell you, I can see the difference in the, uh, in the imprints that have been passed on to both the children as far as their life skills, as far as their attitudes, emotions, and all those things are concerned. So it's, you know, it's actually true that story that we hear of uh, Arjun being, you know, educated in the womb of uh, his mother. There is a lot of sense in that story. So please, even I know all of you are already parents. You may be having more children later on, but you're already parents. And what you need to do is that please Remember that these sanskaras and values can be passed on to your child even now. And I will tell you how to do it now a little later. So cognitive, that is knowledge and skills. Okay, cognitive is mental. All right. Uh, it comes from the word cognition, cognito, to recognize, to learn. Uh, then spiritual, that is sanskaras and values. And here I will tell you, that even now, if you read stories in the night to your children, read Panch Tantra, read stories from Hitobdesh, read stories from so many, you know, uh, Itihasas and Puranas that we have. Uh, if you read small, small stories and uh, Gita Press in Gorakhpur that uh, comes out with very nice uh, storybooks for children uh, to develop their sanskars and values, the moral aspect. We are extremely uh, uh, sort of conscious of the fact these days that English is an international language and we want to communicate our ch uh, to our children only in English. Now, fine, that's a, that's a uh, very good thing to do. But it's very important, apart from English, which is not our mother tongue, to be able to, because we associate best with our mother tongue. And also it's very important that the more languages a child speaks, the more brain development the child will have. These are the researches which are coming out. And that is why you see, even in the West, there are schools which are taking on Sanskrit as a language and teaching their children how to speak in Sanskrit. Sanskrit is the language which is uh, most suited to the information technology no uh, the language which computers understand the best okay because it's a very logical language 
Hindi is the next logical language. English is not a logical language, but it is an international language. So we have to learn that also. So language skills in English and Hindi, communication and expression. The child should be able to express. The child should be able to express their emotions, their laughter, their anger. All these things are a very, because, you know, when the child learns to express at a very early age through emotions, later on, the, the emotions are channelized into creative expression. And then the child will become creative also. So we come to the next socio-emotional uh, aspect of development that is having a good self-esteem teach your child to respect himself or herself you should respect yourself always and respect doesn't mean to have an ego respect means to understand your own status to understand uh, your own cultural background uh, to understand your education and to understand yourself as an important, productive human being of the Indian society. So that enables respect in us, okay? And from respect, from self-respect, you get self-esteem and self-confidence. And yes, these two skills are very important, resilience and coping. जैसे मैंने अभी थोड़ी देर पहले भी बताया था आपको कि हर समय एक सा नहीं होता है कभी धूप होती है कभी छांव होती है कभी बारिश होती है कभी तूफान आता है कभी आंधी आती है कभी हम बीमार पड़ते हैं कभी हम पिकनिक जाते हैं तो हर तरह का समय हमारी लाइफ में आता है ना हाउ डू वी हाउ डू वी हैव द रिजिलियंस टू कोप इन दो टाइम्स is part of our socio emotional development if a parent you know uh, the moment some difficulty comes starts uh, complaining and starts uh, you know, uh, saying to themselves that oh badi mushkil hai ye the child is going to also learn the same thing fine you say okay there were good times now these are tough times now we'll face the tough times and the good times will come back again so having a very practical approach in life to such kind of things and transferring this kind of an approach to the child is important and last but not the least and very important is the cultural belief system okay a lot of parents uh, feel i think the uh, the situation is changing now but a lot of parents feel that uh, we have to be westernized or somebody who uh, say wears a you know uh, sari and uh, is probably not as westernized uh, or not as liberal or not as educated now these are our uh, i would say prejudices and prejudgment all right i have come across people from the villages of india who are extremely elevated and evolved as far as their understanding of life and belief systems are concerned you know a farmer knows how to interpret nature we don't a person who's a, a, a purohit in the village knows the uh, the uh, reason behind a lot of rituals that are done in the temples we in the cities don't we do just perform them as rituals without understanding what is the reason behind them so what has happened unfortunately that because of too much of focus on westernization west toxication and the western world and uh, uh you know imbibing that we have unfortunately fall, uh, forgotten a, our own cultural belief system which is extremely strong the indian 
cultural belief system, whether it belongs to this state or that state or the northern state or the southern state or the eastern or the western state, it doesn't matter. The cultural underlying beliefs all across the country are similar. And they have such a repository of information and knowledge from which we can gain so much. And I'm so glad that our country's revival is taking place now. And we are going back, revisiting all those things which we had left behind. And we are trying to understand ki isme kya sach tha, kya sach hai. I, for one, uh, would like to tell you that even when, uh, when uh, you know, my children were growing up, I was, I was, I had done my BA honors in English. I could speak very beautiful English. I had done my uh, MA in psychology from Delhi University. So I understood all about child development and everything. And, and uh, but my mother was an MA in Hindi. Okay. And she was a uh, graduate of uh, Prabhakar of uh, uh, Indian classical music. Okay. So uh, I still remember after class 10, she had given me a lot of Hindi books to read by Mahadevi Varma and uh, Prem Chand and all those books. And you start reading those books and you understand what is the Indian philosophy, Indian literature. When we read Indian literature, we understand the Indian philosophy. When we read English literature, we understand the English philosophy. If you remember some time ago, there used to be a lot of books in the market, very cheaply available books from the Soviet Union, the Russian books. They used to teach us about uh, the Middle Asian philosophy, Middle uh, European and Middle Asian philosophy. So uh, our cultural belief system comes from all this. Because our roots is, are in the Indian system, therefore it's important for us. Because you know, a tree which is not rooted well will fall the moment the storm comes. So what is very important to is to be rooted. Next slide, please. Yeah, thank you. Now these are some positive parenting sentences. You want the child to speak positively with you. You should also speak very positively with the child. I love you. Okay. I'm proud of you. You are special. Okay. And this is a very important statement. We are a family and we are in this together. Okay. This, according to me, is an extremely important. No member of the family should be allowed to feel alone alone in any situation. We can't tell a child, okay, you're not doing well in this subject. It's your problem. You sort it out. No. We can do what we can support. We can guide. We can reach out on behalf of our child to the teachers. We can see how our, I mean, how we can develop an interest and liking in our child for a particular thing. So this is also very important, okay? So please always remember this, that we are a family and we are in this together. And I'd like to say the same from CSKM to you, that once your child comes to us, then we are a family and we are in this together. So you will have all our support as far as your children are concerned. Next slide, please. Okay, cherish individual differences. Love equally and unconditionally okay uh, many times you know it has been in our society the gender differences okay uh, boys are given more importance uh, some of you will ask me even today i'll say yes even today there are societies in which you know this happens but i must tell you that boys and girls each one of them is important for the perpetuation of life on this planet, okay? So I don't have a favorite, look at me. You're both special in your own, uh, own ways and I love you both equally. Do not differentiate. Even twins are different from each other. 
do not compare okay this is also a very important lesson i'll tell you i uh, like i told you i have a elder son and a younger daughter and uh, uh, my daughter would uh, often you know complain she would ask me which uh, garbage uh, uh, did you pick me up from and bring me so i used to tell her that there was no difference between you you and your elder brother uh, and i used to tell them that look you are like my two eyes so one is one eye and the other is the other eye okay and uh, then my son got married recently so my daughter in law came so my daughter asked me okay now we are your two eyes now what is she so i said she is my third eye so now i have to wait and see when my son in law comes uh, again you know they are extremely important each one of them is extremely important next slide please thank you uh, now today's life is very different from a life 30 years ago or 35 years ago when we were bringing up our children when we were having children 30 years ago and uh, bringing up our children times were slower times were uh, there was no digital invasion there was no influx of social media so there were a lot of uh, now there are a lot of unwanted inputs which your child will be accessing whether you like it or not from uh, from you know uh, various uh, parts of the society from the friends from the friends parents from the magazines from the newspapers from the mobile and i find that i i mean i have seen this that a lot of parents just to keep the child engaged hand over the mobile to the child it's a very very bad thing because a mobile time for the children i know it's important should be rationed i would say and should be totally supervised okay it should be like a reward that you get okay when you do so much of this work when you have written so many pages when you have drawn so many drawings then i will give you the mobile for one hour or half an hour or whatever so these are the challenges of a fast paced life which we didn't have to face all right but we are here to support you in facing them the digital invasion the social media and flux okay the fake news which is coming to us every single day uh, and, and we have to have more vivek and more discretion and more wisdom to be able to differentiate between what what is <clears throat> right what is the truth and what is a falsification and explain to our children we have to prepare our children that life is not always going to be like this you have to learn to discern to discriminate the right from the wrong this is very important okay and times have changed we have, we are more open and we are more expressive about a lot of things like for instance uh i would not have used uh, in my i would not have used in my parents presence uh some a uh, parent please i request you to be on mute thank you so i would never have uh, used a term like you know okay what is this fancy shit in front of my parents all right but my children my daughter especially she has used it in front of me and uh, you know there are words which they use now we have to come up to their uh, uh, levels of the changing atmosphere and the environment society understand it teach from those things what is right and what is wrong okay so never and uh, you see lot of parents think that the child will not be able to understand 
So here I'd like to tell you, never undermine the capability and the intelligence of the child to understand. Children can really understand things, all kinds of things. So could the book, you know, a difficult situation, a boss hurting the father or a father hurting the mother or the relationships between the family members at home. Now, these are issues in our lives and a simple explanation helps. Simple explanation and simple terms to explain to them that, okay, this happens, okay, and we contend with it. And then there are parenting fads today. This is the most dangerous of all, actually. Uh, there is, like we say, the WhatsApp University and the Google University. And uh, people think that there is a solution to everything over there. Uh, the doctors today are complaining that patients will tell them, uh, ye, ye medicine de dije, iske ye side effects. Hai. Now, where did you get that information from? A doctor has studied that for good 12 years in his or her life and is prescribing certain medicines to you based on so many considerations. And you go to the WhatsApp or the Google University, and that throws up certain information to you, depending on the number of reviews that information has had, or the popularity aspect of that information, and you start believing in it. So this is the most important thing which we have to all keep in mind, do not believe without seeing for yourself, without questioning, without knowing from the experts and without learning about it properly. All right. So now you have an image here, you know, which is the situation is in many homes these days. So there should be times when everybody should keep their mobile phones aside and sit together and have a good time, play cards, play chess, play Ludo, board games, playing board games together, especially in nuclear families and even joint families is a great way of bonding together, learning from each other, enjoying yourself. And so that's important. Right, next slide, please. Yeah, this is about uh, principles of parenting. Yeah. Now, these are certain principles that we just have to keep in mind. We have to be a good role model. And we have to be consistent. Children learn more from what we are than what we teach. Okay, they observe us all the time. I was just told uh, my son's... Uh, friend has had a little baby boy and uh, his father had an accident and uh, he injured his legs so he's been limping around the house so the little boy is also limping around the house he's simply aping what the father is doing without realizing that his legs are fine but because the father is limping so the child is also showing a limp so you see the children learn from what they see what they observe. Children are very observant, much more than we think they are. Be reliable and accountable. If we are accountable to our children, the children will be accountable for us, to us. Okay. Allow questioning. Allow the child to question and justify righteously. A lot of parents say, ma'am, bohat questions poochte hain. Bohat questions poochte hain. Theek hai? आप अगर नहीं आंसर कर सकते तो आप टीचर से ही बोल दीजिए कि मैम इस बच्चे के ये क्वेश्चंस का आंसर दीजिए बट प्लीज अलाउ द चाइल्ड टू क्वेश्चन इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ ग्रोइंग अप ये वो वाला जमाना गया कि पेरेंट ने कहा सिट डाउन एंड द चाइल्ड हैज टू सिट डाउन एंड द पेरेंट हैज सेज रिसाइट अ पोएम एंड द चाइल्ड हैज टू रिसाइट अ पोएम द चाइल्ड विल आस्क यू व्हाई शुड आई रिसाइट द पोएम so you have to explain to the child and you have to justify it righteously. 
not that you have to recite the poem because I'm saying so. No, you have to recite the poem because I want to listen to it. I enjoy listening to your poem and so on. Prioritize what is important. You know, I, in life, life pulls us in different directions. Okay. But it is not necessary for us to try to manage each and everything. We have to understand what is the priority in our life. Let go of what is not a priority in our life and concentrate on those which are in priority, which are important to us and focus on those. Then we will be able to have a good time management. Communicate and engage. All right. Must communicate with your children. Must engage them. Apologize when necessary. If you apologize, your child will also learn how to apologize. And parents' attitudes are transferred to children as they are. And this is a very important saying, no matter how old the child becomes, there's no place more soothing than a parent's arms. So remember, your child is going to be your child for a lifetime. Next slide, please. This is continued, protect, but do not mollycoddle. Okay. Now, the, I, I've showed the picture of, you know, a child being thrown in the air. Some parents will never do that. Ki bacha dar jayega. I remember my dad, my, who was nana to my children, would, you know, jaise hi wo, he was hardly one, uh, two months old and he would throw him up and, you know, and catch him back. So what does the child learn that, okay, I'll be thrown into a situation which is not known to me, but then I'll come back securely into the arms of my parent also. So these are things that we do. Some, some parents will not allow their children to learn how to practice. No, sorry, chot is a very important aspect of growing up. Okay, so support, but do not handicap. Secure, but do not fight their battles. Okay, don't come fighting to the school. Ki us bacche ne mere bacche ko maar diya. No, sorry. The child has to learn to fight their own battles. Inform the teacher. Ki aisa aisa hua hai. The teacher will take their own necessary measures to control the situation, to help your child to grow to uh, become bold enough to fight their own battles. Guide, but do not thrust your aspirations on them. Inspire, okay, but do not, I think we should have added here, inspire, but do not uh, put your ideals onto them or your uh, ambition onto them. Comfort, comfort, but do not cocoon. Allow adventure. Provide tangibly and non-tangibly, but not unreasonably. Okay, let them earn their rewards. We think ki humko to dusre ne apne bache ko de diya ye cheez, to hume bhi dena hai. No, my situation is different. Let the child understand. My family is different. A child may be coming to school in a fancy car. No, my child is going to travel in the school bus. And it is not a compromise that the child is doing. Traveling in the school bus will teach the child many, many more skills of life than traveling alone in a fancy car will. So always keep analyzing your own behavior. You are not perfect, neither is the child, nor are the circumstances. And do the best that you can. Next. All right, so this is a little technical. Uh, these are multiple intelligences by Harvard Gardner. And I'm going to tell it and explain it to you through this story which comes here. Uh, you know, Harvard Gardner, Gardner is a psychologist, a researcher, who has said that we all have these eight multiple intelligences. There is something called as general intelligence, and then we have these specific ones too. That is linguistic, that is language related, numerical, number related, musical, 
uh, rhythm and uh, rag related intrapersonal within ourselves how do we handle the problems that come to us from within ourselves interpersonal that is how do we handle the situations which is between us and another person spatial how do we uh, handle situations and problems which are in uh, uh, in the in our imagination okay which we cannot see uh, which are uh, like uh, what you call uh, a 3d kind of problem you have these holograms these days today evening there's going to be a drone show in the uh, beating of retreat ceremony we all should see that today the first time we are having a drone show in our country uh, and bodily kinesthetic bodily kinesthetic means physical and kinesthetic means uh, the one related to the balance aspect okay so can we stand on one leg can we hop if you remember hum log as children hum ek game khelte the uh, hop scotch ek game khelte the langri tang to ye sari गेम्स जो होती हैं ये हमारे अंदर बॉडिली काइनेस्थेटिक इंटेलिजेंस स्किपिंग जंपिंग एंड कमिंग डाउन जंपिंग एंड कमिंग डाउन साइमल्टेनियसली आर हैंड्स आर गोइंग विद द रोप यू नो सो दिस दिस इज वन एस्पेक्ट एंड नेचुरलिस्टिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग नेचर इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अ चाइल्ड टू जस्ट बी यू नो आई डोंट नो जब हम बच्चे थे तो हमारे पास बहुत समय होता था और हम कभी कभी आज कहते भी हैं कि वॉट इज दिस लाइफ सो फुल ऑफ केयर देर इज नो टाइम टू स्टैंड स्टेयर ओके एंड इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट एंड एस्पेक्ट इन आर लाइफ टू बी एबल टू जस्ट स्टैंड एंड स्टेयर एक तितली जा रही है उड़ रही है कहाँ बैठी कैसे गई कहाँ गई क्यों गई ठीक है फ्लार पे गई फिर लीव पे गई ओके Uh, there's a monkey sitting in the tree what is he doing how is he holding the little baby how is he climbing up ye sab cheeze bahut kuch humko sikhati hain so we all have these intelligences in ourselves in various varying levels kisi mein linguistic zyada hogi kisi mein numerical zyada hogi kisi mein naturalistic zyada hogi so now this is a story which i'll tell you and from the story you understand what i'm trying to say it's a story of uh, school for animals okay jaise hamara school hai bachcho ke liye waise animals ne decide kiya ki hum ek school banayenge jisme ki uh, we will help our children to deal with the problems of the new world and to make it easier to administer the curriculum uh, we will do running and climbing and swimming and flying because these are the things that animals do okay jaise ki hum apne school mein batate hain ki bhai language bhi padhayenge numbers bhi padhayenge aur music bhi sikhayenge aur dance bhi sikhayenge aur evs environmental science bhi sikhayenge to ye sari intelligences ko lekar ke hum saath mein chalenge right saath mein rehna bhi sikhayenge intrapersonal and interpersonal aur spatial aspect of थिंकिंग भी सिखाएंगे तो इसी तरह एनिमल्स ने कहा कि ये सारे कैरिकुलम्स होने चाहिए रनिंग क्लाइंबिंग स्विमिंग एंड फ्लाइंग एंड दे डिसाइडेड दैट ऑल देयर यंग वंस सॉरी अ स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक हियर इट शुड बी ओ एन ई एस ऑल देयर यंग वंस वुड टेक ऑल द सब्जेक्ट्स दिस प्रोड्यूस सम इंटरेस्टिंग इशूज नाउ लेट्स इशूज वर सो नेक्स्ट लाइट प्लीज या So now the duck was excellent in swimming but relatively poor in running. So he devoted himself to improving his running through extra practice. Eventually his webbed feet got so badly worn that he dropped to only average in swimming. But average was acceptable in this school so nobody worried worried about that except the duck. The rabbit had a nervous breakdown because the other animals said she looked like a rat. when she dumped in the water for swimming class and all her hair got matted down okay in the climbing class the eagle beat all the others to the top of the tree but kept insisting on using his own method of getting there 
that I will fly and go. The others had to climb the tree. So this was unacceptable. So the eagerly, eagle was severely disciplined. Next slide, please. And then the kangaroo came home from the school and said, Mom, Dad, I hate school. Swimming is great. Flying is fun. If they let me start in the water, but running and climbing, I can only hop. The kangaroo's parents made an appointment for her with the principal who took one look at her progress reports and decreed, play to people's strengths. The moral of the story says, let the fish and the ducks swim, let the rabbits run, let the eagles fly and let the kangaroos hop. We don't want a school of the average. Meaning to say, uh, can we go back to the multiple intelligences slide? Yeah, thank you. Your child may be linguistically very strong, numerically above average, naturalistically average, musically below average. Okay. So when we realize that this is the strength of my child, language, then we build more upon that and we link number learning, music learning, and spatial learning to language learning. That is what schools do to help the child to develop their potential in all the subjects. Back to the old slide. I think we are coming to the end of the presentation now. Yeah. So we don't want a school of the average. We want them to excel as per their potential. And so at CSKM, we believe, not behave. We believe in every child's potential to be a winner in their own right, okay? We are proud of each of, our, each of our children and we ensure that no child is left behind. Next slide, please. Okay, so now this is on the lighter side a little bit. Parenting is like a new movie, okay? Enjoy it. Go with the flow as it unfolds. Uh, you can't predict the future, all right? And you don't know what the future will bring forth. So enjoy, cherish, enjoy. This time will not return. Okay. Many times you feel, oh my God, this is so difficult. So be utna hai, bachche ko school bhejna hai, ye karna hai, wo karna hai. Aur sham ko bachai, to usko wapis baat karke usse baat karni hai. No, these are times that you should enjoy because these times are going to be in your life just for 12, 13 years. And after that, you will remember ki kitna acha time tha. Don't stress or pass on the pressure to your kid. Okay? Picture abhi baki hai mere dost. This continues all through, the uh, all through your life. Children will never grow up as far as parents are concerned. Every child has a place in God's world and believe in your child. Okay? So I think I should Thank you and stop here. All right. Thank you very much.